chapter 1115 we've already been going through peak peak stuff see what wait what yeah chapter 1115 continental fragments let's get it okay from yori and doko yes he is still in one copies the flower capital Wano. It's hard to believe this foreign transmission is real. Wow, it is indeed hard to believe. This foreign transmission is reaching us. Now, you may be wondering how we came to be known as a pirate. We are continuing. Yes, I don't know what uh, wrong. We did stop with Joy Boy and with Goddessy. Vegapunk has started something interesting and I'm all up for it. That's the joy boy. The news shakes one or two. We found the snail in the castle among the chief's possessions. Ah, he did have a snail. So you were a pirate joy boy? Just like Goofy? Oh, you know? Yeah, I'm surprised. Momo, how do you know of joy boy? You know of him, my lord? Same question. A jail cell, a G4 naval base. Joy boy, who cares? I bet you could easily beat him. Right, Captain Kid? Ah, you wish. Wait, 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 what? What? Ah, ah, these, these are like, <laughs> these are the exact people who Dressed up as Goofy and his crew. Oh, shots hell. They are imprisoned in the. Yeah, Dimalo. Dimalo Black. Exactly, yeah. I hate that guy, dude. Please, please let this be the last panel that I see of him. Duh, this man's already dead. That's our captain. The only thing bigger than his conference is his belly. Yeah, I'm clearly a million times tougher. Obviously, a million times tougher than this joy toy. Joy toy? His joy boy was. The disrespectful. And coming from him is the worst. Do bear in mind, I only have access to a handful of poneglyphs, but their combined narrative purely chronicles an unbelievable history about a great war in the distant past. I mean, I wouldn't say he's on the level of evil, obviously, but Joy Boy is pretty strong. I would say he's slightly more powerful than, uh, than maybe Rocks, but I don't know, that's because he might have awakened the uh, uh, woman on disguised as, yeah, you know. But, I mean, I don't know the full extent of this power. We haven't seen it exactly, so... But, honestly, I would say he's on par with rocks. Maybe a little more powerful, but, yeah, we'll see. During that period, Joy Boy faced an enemy in the organization known, known as the World Government. Wait, is that us? Well, he didn't say, he did say he was a pirate. Vegapunk, back then, yeah, you keep shouting, but you know, you're never gonna change what's happening right now. Back then, they were merely the Allied powers, a temporary coalition consisting of 20 separate kingdoms. Nice. Can be assumed that an alliance was the only, only feasible way to oppose the formidable faction to which Joy Boy belonged. Yes, I am afraid that the cause of this conflict still eludes me. So I do not presume to judge the, immor the mortality of the combatants. I can always say that this war was a clash of two opposing ideologies. I mentioned earlier that Joy Boy was born into a fantastical civilization. So, new world. Even so, hearing it, 
one so advanced when we start must be so proud so nostalgic for so to hear his own master I mean own captain uh, being spoken so highly around the world one so advanced that it is hard to believe it existed over 900 years ago the weapons that existed during this century-long struggle are far beyond our modern science. You say you saying we devolve? No. I'm pretty sure that's a word, right? Okay, we've evolved backwards. That's amazing. That what's that peanut headed fool saying? Oh man, we're getting everywhere. Every irritating character in the series is making an appearance. Oh boss, you're making me hungry. Such technology is baffling even for a genius such as myself. He's so big headed. And therein lies our problem. Let us try. Stussy. It's me, Edison? Lower the barrier and hightail it out of here. But if, but I can't. What if something were to happen to the straw hat crew? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be straight with you. That ain't no point in the barrier number. Not when there are monsters on the island who can ignore it. He, bro, he's still alive. Kill him already. We've done all we can for them. I'm sure they'll make it somehow. How much longer, Jimbi? My apologies. My apologies. We are almost there. There's nothing to apologize for. We were busy. Is that you, Zoro? You're gonna get it later. <laughs> Who's that, Nami? <laughs> now, hurry up. Yeah, it is Nami. Now, hurry up. They are moving their ships to blockade the northeast coast. Come on, they're finally on the verge of escaping well i'm pretty sure they're gonna move on ahead to el buff okay this is my prediction uh luffy's gonna stay back along with no change okay. so luffy's gonna stay back someone else will again interfere in the island they'll fight off the five elders these people will escape and go to el buff the aerosop will uh, hit a speak and then right before leaving the Elbaf, that's going to be another fight. Usopp will lose his, lose his life. That's going to be a really sad moment. And Luffy will join again back on the ship after they leave Elbaf. No, not, no. And yeah, Luffy's going to join back to Elbaf in the middle of the fight. He's going to fight with his crew. And they're going to have a big fight. I don't know with whom, but definitely a big fight. Uh, then Usopp will lose his life. They have a sad moment. Then they leave the Empire. They, then they leave the island and then back get over. Uh, for some reason, I just keep believing that uh, uh, Usopp will just die after the death. He's gonna hit, hit his peak, that's true, and give up his life, dying as a brave warrior. Anyway, let's continue back to the chapter. I'll never forgive you if we get blasted out of the water after this. That's good to hear. I was worried Stella would never forgive me if I let them get caught. As if. Now get your ass out of here. Out of there. But I don't know what to do myself. Huh? Now that Stella's gone, who am I meant to live for? I have no purpose. She, she gonna... Oh no, she gonna change. She gonna change back to help the government. Stop, stop with this negativity talk. I just read Blue Lock a while back. Saw this really uh, downfall of Kaiser. I don't wanna see it, this again in One Piece 2. Don't let him use his sword. This geezer can cut anything. True. Nasuro is quoted. It's probably the second strongest swordsman or something. To me, sense the living voices. 
Bonnie, get down. Frankie with the same. She became small again. Hopefully. Hmm, I can't maintain this topic future for very long. The void century ended with Joy Boy's defeat. Shit. Oh man. That's it. We've already summed up Joy Boy's story in such a short. We should, we should get like a whole side manga for the Joy Boy's story. Like how we got Zoro's manga uh, when before he joined Luffy. You should get something like that too. Megapunk, how much do you intend to say? He's leaving. Wow, what? There are too many life forms here. But the aftermath was grand uh, consequences. Well, what is that? He cut the whole library in half. I can literally see the mechanics under it. Bro, punk records library is gone. It's it's lit up. That's it. Well, where are we gonna get any info? If I'm not wrong, even straw has ship is right there. They're right there. How are they meant to get down? The wake of that ancient conflict scared the world, scarred the world, and those scars never healed. What the? Yeah, dude. How? How is he? I'm convinced that he is much more powerful than Mihawk. I mean, after all, we haven't seen much defeats from Mihawk. Mihawk. He hasn't shown us anything. Yes, there might be some off-screen uh, feats like going head to head with Shanks and ending it in a draw or something. But bro, this is on other level. The skill, the, the sword in itself is pretty powerful, yes. Uh, Seraphim's everyone shocked. I mean, he is an elder for some reason, but you know, this is too much. We all know travel between islands can be excruciatingly difficult. difficult. The seas one must traverse are so vast and perilous, most people are content to live and die at their place of birth, never experiencing any culture other than their own. Isn't that a bit obvious? Ah, everyone knows the seas are dangerous. That is common knowledge to us now. But it wasn't like that a thousand years ago. A cattle cataclysmic ecological disaster occurred during the void century. I'm not wrong, this is the sensei who trains over, right? Nice, he's still going at it. W sensor. And the ancient world was swallowed by the ocean. We are now living atop the remnants, the continental fragments of the land masses that once were. This is the remnants of the cities that sunk before like 100 years ago or something. 900 years ago. It might be 900 years ago too. That's like a whole kingdom down there. Something similar to what Land of Honor showed us uh, when Law and uh, Robin just like literally saw a city under. Dude, this is crazy. Say what? Everyone shocked. Even the revolutionary army, the world of millennia ago, sleeps unseen at the bottom of the ocean. This is big, this is big, big news. This is crazy. I know it is hard to believe on the world alone, but there really were multiple vast continents back then. This is insane. Hey, Nojiko. Where do you think you're going? The world's whole world is at stake. As if 
what if she goes i mean it's gonna sink anyway not like the place where you're standing is gonna <laughs> not sink fill me in later i've got to check in on the tangent in orchard this change in the world helped explain how a century of history should be could be censored a feat that seems high impossible but it makes sense when you consider the undeniable conclusion all the data points to. Within a mere century, the average sea level rose by a staggering 200 meters. Uh, you're kidding, 200 meters? It took some while for me to settle in, but 200 meters? A warship, a warship's only 60 meters tall. That's like four warships or something. Three and a half warships. No wonder the whole world disappeared. Hey, stop listening to this crap. We have work to do. The Seraphim and all those imprisoned cypherpole agents were spotted falling out of the lab building. We've got to rescue them. Did you hear that? As if you can rescue them. Did you look at the amount of uh, importance? I mean, the, the level of um, fight that's going on over there. Alf and rescue them. Did you hear that? His tall tales keep getting taller. <laughs> Dude, true. Stop laughing. Shut up. I, I don't want to see them again. The old farts and bosses mode. What a joke. Sakura Kingdom. Chopper's hometown. Is that really possible? <laughs> Even now, the world still finds a way to keep things interesting. She knows. That mountain is up to 100 meters. You're saying something that tall would be submerged? That's awful. How many people died? Wait. That... It froze... By that much. Dude, I still have to see how high is 200 meters. Every time they compare it to something, it just gets more and more interesting. The, that begs the question, how and why did such a flood occur? Naturally, your first inclination might be to assume it was some kind of natural disaster. Yeah, you told us last chapter it was not a natural disaster, it was a man-made something. However, I can say for certain that it was no such thing as a man-made calamity, yes. You can't be seen. You can't be serious. If this catastrophe was brought about by natural means, then there would be records denoting early warning signs several centuries earlier. It was a severe world altering event after all. But all my research into meteorology, geology, ecology and atmospheric science confirmed that there was no such natural buildup. It is impossible for such a drastic change to happen spontaneously within the span of a mere hundred years, meaning the casual lies as the meaning the cause lies elsewhere. My suspicions were suspicions were confirmed a few days ago when I analyzed the world's current sea levels. This will be hard to accept, but that disaster 800 years ago was caused by ancient weapon technologies capable of sinking the world. Yes, Pluton, Uranus, etc. And that very same firepower evidently still exists. Just waiting to be used again. In other words, that great war which ravaged the world during the void century is still going on. Oh no. We get another emo um, appearance. Every time I see emo, the more frightening it gets, the more scared I get. Dude, this is why why does this guy have to exist? Now? I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, why does this being have to exist? Chapter 115 End The Genius Sheds Light on a Forgotten History. Nice. Nice. Chapter end. I love this chapter. The length was long. Um there was Hell, a lot of information. Uh, there were a few 
Oh, hiccups. I don't want to see the irritating bunch of demonial black crew again. And yeah. Uh, pretty long chapter. It was worth it. Definitely 10 on 10. Beautiful chapter. I can't wait for the next chapter already. We are in 1115. Or uh, tune back in on 1116. Uh, we'll close here by now. Uh, stay safe. Stay awesome. Please tune in on the next chapter. Uh, we're going to read peak again. Probably there might be a break, but let's see. Okay then. See you guys soon.